in this video clip, I'm going to make a frustum. So let's start with the rectangle tool at the origin and type 12, comma, 12. Zoom out, pan over. And I want the upper base to be six by six. So let's pick up our offset tool and measure. Let's use that offset tool. Make sure you are on the edge and we'll pull in three meters because we want the top to be six by six. The bottom base is 12 by 12, so that works. Pick up our push-pull tool and extrude up. I wanna go exactly four meters, so there we go. Before I continue to make the frustum, I want to show you just a couple things that I like my students to see. Let's put in a lateral edge and let's put in this line connecting from the corner of the large triangle, or square, sorry, the, the large square to the small square along that base. And now we see this right triangle, which is something that is really hard to do if you're not in a three-dimensional program. Let's use the protractor tool. So down here, protractor, Put your protractor on the face and then, all right, got ahead of myself, sorry. Put the protractor on the face and click down onto this endpoint that you want. Go to your initial ray, your terminal ray, and you should see 43.3 in your angle window, approximately. So that's kind of cool. Let's put in a slant height. So we'll go to, we need to get that midpoint. Here we go. And let's put in the offset. So let's go down to the midpoint here, cross. And now we have an interior, what I'm gonna call offset triangle. Again, you can use your protractor tool to measure. You should see that this is a three, four, five triangle offset three, height four, that would be five by the Pythagorean theorem. Pick up our protractor. We want to be in the, we want to have a red protractor perpendicular to the red axis. Click the base, click at your terminal. We should see approximately 53.1 degrees. Perfect. Let's delete some of the geometry that we have in here and we'll go ahead and finish up the frustum. Here is where I like to switch to X-ray view. So under default styles, go to X-ray view because now I can see all of the geometry. Pick up my line tool or type L. We're going to put in all of the lateral edges and I will rotate a little bit, but you can actually see the back corners there, the top of the frustum and the bottom of the frustum. So there's our last face. If you select one of the faces, you can go up here in entity information and see that the lateral face is 45 meters squared. Once my students find that slant height, they can use the formula for a trapezoid to get the area. And this is a nice way to check if you want to find the volume, delete all of your interior geometry. So all of that interior prism that we had. And let's group the, pris the frustum. So select with your marquee box, make a group. Now check this out. We have 336 meters cubed under, under the entity information. Explode your group. Now you can go out of X-ray view, whichever style you want, and you can use your paint, your paint tools to paint your frustum, do whatever you want with it. Thanks for watching.